What's up guys, Shiny Intro Zach here back with another TCG pack opening video and buckle in because this is probably going to be a long one because I have a huge box to open up and it's this thing right here, the Break Evolution box with a bunch of stuff in it. So there's a pretty good look at it for you guys. It has five packs which I believe three of them are Breakthrough, one of them is Ancient Origins, and one of them is Roaring Skies. We have three Break cards, which you can't otherwise obtain. They're not in any set or anything currently, in English anyway. And then one oversized version. The oversized version here is the Empoleon Break one, and then we also get a regular version of that, and then a Noctel Break, and a Behem Break, and I'm sure there's a code card kicking around here somewhere. So let me turn this box around and show you guys the back. You can see up there, is the uh, description. It's pretty short this time if you want to pause and read that, but there's what's in the box. Three uh, break cards that we've never seen before. An oversized version of one of them, five packs, and a code card just like I thought. So let me go ahead and get this open real quick and I'll be back with you guys. Okay, I've returned and let's go over everything that you can get in the box. I will start off, I suppose, with the break cards. Oops, there goes my camera. So the three that you can get are Empoleon Break, which is the oversized one. This is XY promo number 134. I cannot believe they have that many promos already for the XY era, that is insane. Uh, it has 170 HP and the uh, new attack that it gains is Emperor's Command, which does 30 times the number of Pokemon your opponent has in play, which is sort of a good counter to uh, people using Skyfield if you want to build up to this Empoleon Break. So I'll put that in the background. And the next one we have, you can see right here, is Noctowl Break, 130 HP with the attack Night Scan. For three colorless energy, you do 60 damage. Your opponent reveals his or her hand. The attack does 30 more damage for each trainer card you find there. So that can be really devastating. Trainer cards really, really often make up over half of your opponent's deck. So that is going to be uh, kind of a useful attack if you decide to use Noctowl. And the final one is Behem Break, also 130 HP, Psychic type. Cosmic Circle for the attack. For three Psychic Energy, you do 100 damage and move as many Psychic Energy attached to your Pokemon to your other Pokemon in any way that you like. So, basically, uh, you can just sort of move around your Psychic Energy with this attack, so that's kind of handy. And this is promo number 135. Uh, the Noctowl is number 136. So, four, five, and six. Uh, 34, 35, 36. Basically. And then here's the oversized one. Obviously, it's rather large but it's the same Empoleon that you get uh, normally, right down there. So, that is pretty much everything in the box, except for, obviously, you also get a code card that looks like this. So let's move on to the packs now. Like I said before, we have one Roaring Skies, one Ancient Origins, and three Breakthrough. I'm gonna do those from oldest to newest. So I'll be starting with the Roaring Skies pack. So let's move that camera on down, and I will start off with this Mega Gallade pack. All right, code there, one, two, three, one, two. And we have here a Togepi, that's cute. Execute, uh, Natsu, Fletchling, Wurmple, Winona, Unpheasant, and Electrode. It's really weird that Unpheasant's an uncommon in this set, and in a lot of recent sets, there are some rares that should not be rares. I think that Unpheasant deserves a rare spot. My Reverse is a Mega Turbo, which actually gets a fair amount of play in Mega Rayquaza decks and other mega related decks that is an uncommon and my rare is an altaria regular rare which is a useful rare to pull some people still use this in mega rayquaza and other sort of colorless decks because it gives colorless pokemon no weakness so that's pretty cool all right we move on now to ancient origins with this mega t-tar pack and this see look the other code card is facing the camera this one not facing the camera Fantastic. I'm gonna have to do another PDCGO stream pretty soon. All right, we have a Relicanth, Golurk, Beldum, Baltoy, Malamar, Sceptile Spirit Link, Echo Arm, and Lucky Helmet. So all trainers there for the uncommons. My reverse is a Malamar, the one we pulled at the beginning of the pack. That is a common, of course. And my rare is an Entei regular rare. That's a shame because the Hollow Entei in this set is actually seeing some play now with uh, some other fire types like Pyroar, I believe. So that's pretty cool. A shame we couldn't pull that one, but hopefully this box will start to turn around. 
We're moving on now to XY Breakthrough, which also has the code card not facing the camera. The only pack apparently where that's happening is Roaring Skies. That's kind of weird. Hippo Batas, Pan Sage, Ralts, Scatterbug, Tortured Teddy Ursa, Prinflop, a Drunk Dedene, and a Burning Energy. I hope Dylan sees this video. This pack was perfect for him. My reverse is a Pile of Swine, and that is an uncommon. I like that artwork though. What are those things in the background? It looks like uh, maybe it's on a ski slope or something and it's shooting snow. Look at that. They look like they're shooting out little snow pellets. Interesting. And my rare is a Parasect regular rare. So we are 0 for 3 on pulls that aren't regular rares. But to be fair, we still have two packs to turn that around. We could pull a break or anything like that. And it's good to get my bad luck out of the way now and hopefully not have it for the MLPB, my, uh, the pack battle league that I'm in, where I actually get points based on how well I pull. Vanillite, Panseer, Pansham, Inke, Swino, Pinsir, Staravia, and Frogadier. My reverse is a Quilladin, which I've said from the beginning looks like friggin' Timmy Turner with the brown hair and the buck teeth. That's an uncommon. And my rare is a vanilla, so I really hope we don't go over five. I can't believe Pokemon would sell someone a box with five packs in it that didn't have at least a hollow. I would be both shocked and appalled, and on their 20th anniversary as well, how could they? Shocking behavior. We have a Skiddo, Zorua, Vanillite, Flabebe, Zorua, Curlia, Buddy Buddy Rescue, and Starmie. My last reverse here is a Swablu, so no break cards it looks like. That is a common there. And my last rare is a Dodrio. Oh my gosh! I have opened some bad boxes recently. Uh, I don't know if I'm uploading this before or after this. Uh, hopefully, I'm gonna upload it after now because I'm saying this, but spoiler alert if you haven't seen my Aurorus EX box opening, that one has four packs in it. I also get four rares. So. I opened those boxes uh, a, a day apart. So basically I opened the Aurora's one yesterday and the Break Evolution box today. Out of nine packs, nine regular rares. It just astounds me uh, that Pokemon can feel good about selling people packs uh, like that, where and boxes like that, where they just don't have anything good in them. Like, I don't know how they're supposed to get uh, new players into the game if they're just pulling badly. But anyway, we have three break cards after all because they came in the box. Obviously, I showed them off near the beginning of the video, but we have Behem, Noctowl, and the oversized star of the show, Empoleon Break, which I really like a lot, actually. That artwork is killer. So I'm going to leave it on that. That's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it despite the polls. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you've not already. Like and favor the video and leave a comment down below. And don't forget to check me out on Twitter and Twitch at ShinyHunterZach. I'll have some other links, too. They'll be in the description down below. And until next time, I will see you guys later.